Well, it, 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 Lion King is an odd one because it, it never stopped. It wasn't just a movie that sort of disappeared. And it's not just that I'm old enough now to remake my own stuff. Um, no, it's sort of lived forever in the form of the musical. And then somebody had the crazy idea that I should leave my dark, um, uh, darkened, you know, windowless room and go on tour. So I did, did a bit of it at the Coachella Festival and everybody went, hang on a second, it's really moving. It actually means something still. So, um, long story, very, very short. John phoned me up and said, did I want to have a look at the opening? Which of course I did, you know, being, and being very blasé about it. And he showed me the opening and it, 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 I found it incredibly moving. And it uh, truly, you know, truly an amazing experience. Lebo is, you know, Lebo is my original inspiration, you know what I mean? You know, people, people don't really, now it seems normal, but back then, when we did the original one, you know, when I was saying to them, you know, what I would love to do is to start with a completely African voice, you don't understand what it's saying, in the black. And everybody went, hmm, that's interesting, but it hadn't been done before, so that was great. But having him back on board, and you know, I think of Pharrell not only as my, he thinks I'm his big brother, but I don't think of him as my little brother. I think of him as a, as a friend who to constantly and totally inspires me. And at the same time, the other thing which he's really good about is he keeps his eye on things, you know, and he, he makes sure we serve the task properly.